Right, some of the lures that we'll use in the springtime. This box is just basically set up for the early spring. So we've got a selection of four inch kinex, different colours. Pinks and pearls and yellows are usually good. Coppers, successful colour in the spring. Some golds, some alternatives if the water gets coloured. And we have roughly the same colour in the smaller three inch lures. These are very successful when the water goes clear and drops a little bit. That was a good one, copper and silver. And some alternatives, green and white again if the water changes or if you're chasing a difficult fish, alternative lure. The yellows and whites always good in the springtime. And then salmos, probably one of the most effective lures in the river, especially in the springtime, but it works all year round. You can't go wrong with a Toby Salmo. That was copper on one side and silver on the other, but the, the, the pure copper works probably the best out of a lot of them. And there's also a pure silver one, but at the end of the day, it's a, it's a big flashing Toby. The fish, the fish just come and grab that. It's deadly in the silly part of the season. And we have Rapala type lures. Like these, this is an, another Vision 110, this is a Kinkuru with the orange belly and the gold flank. So we carry a good selection of these, different colour patterns, that's the Kinkuru. And some more in this little box here. That's the one for the coloured water, pink glow. If the water's very coloured, that's the one that works. Cosmic Shad, another deadly one when the water's clear. French Pearl, another one for when the water's clear. So we have to pick out, we have to keep a, a good selection of lures with us all the time, depending on the water conditions. So they're, they're all tried and tested, they've all worked uh, very well over years of testing. They're all good baits. There's a few Devon minnows. Pliers, things like that in the box, spare hooks, that sort of thing. But that's roughly what we carry. That, that's me set up for a day's harling on, on the river. When we come to later parts of the season, there'll be other baits um, that'll be added to that selection. But this is pretty much me set up for harling in the early part. I mean, they've all caught fish, so you've every confidence that they're just going to go right there and catch another one.